Just one of those days where you got to kick it classic with your most favorite Subway order and talk about maybe the most insane <laughs> serial killer from Oshawa, Ontario, very close to me, uh, that I've ever kind of witnessed. We'll talk about it. I'll play some clips. I just randomly stumbled upon this last night and was like taken aback by this guy's cold, callous, nonchalant, complete psychopathic nature while ordering Wendy's from the cops in the interrogation room. So anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Unravel the mystery. It's not a mystery. I've eaten this so, so many times, right? We know this. The Italian BMT sauced up with all the goodins, but let's get rid of this wrapper. All right, well, it's been a good little chunk of time since I checked in with y'all. Don't know why, just kind of took a few days. Wasn't really inspired. I don't know, just, you know, I haven't been that hungry, to be honest, on a couple days of like a little bit of a low, low eating fasting type thing. But today the crave kicked in and I wanted to just, I saw this video and I was like, you know, I'm not really a true crimey kind of guy all the time. Every once in a while, they do intrigue me though. And I go down a little true crimey uh, murder spree. It's not my favorite genre because I don't really love to, to sit around and learn about murder that often. But if it pops up on a feed, you know, sometimes you just got to click in. And I did click in and it was crazy because the guys from Canada from a place called Oshawa, which is not too far from me. It's known as a little bit of a butthole town of Canada, but hey, I'm in Thunder Bay, so who's talking? <laughs> My city is kind of beautiful, it has its perks, but it's also a little rough at times. Anyways, double meat BMT, let's get a bite and talk about this guy, Adam Strong, who's just absolutely insane. But I don't know, seems kind of put together in the sense, like, I don't know, we'll talk about it. I'll play clips. Toasted and pressed, of course. I got him to put the sauce in the middle this time. Before the veggies went in. And he said that's how his dad gets it done. I said, your dad's a brilliant man, son. Also going to try it with some blackened ranch. He always keeps on deck. This will be a first. Let's see how she is. Mmm. That works really well. So anyways, uh. This murderer, uh, late 30s, maybe 40, white male, he uh, was living in this basement for years and years as like a, just a tenant. I think there were people upstairs. And, uh, he lived close to a school. Apparently, he was always kind of out gazing at the schoolyard, like trying to almost select, like, his young victim. But uh, ultimately, he gets caught um, because the plumbing is backed up in his tub. And the plumbers come by and they fish out. of the drain flesh 
like chunks of flesh. So maybe I'll play that because this clip right here of the cop and him talking about that. And uh, if, if again, if not for apparently the plumbing was all f up in that house that aided in my capture and your capture. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, I was sitting down in my basement after the plumbers left and I was like, am I going to get out with this? I don't know. Should I leave now? How much longer before it was? It was all done in one evening. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like, this was all one piece, and then this was all one piece. Up I in couldn't. Yeah. Really? Sorry, man. I don't remember. Really? Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't important to me, man. And how he talks about, like, how, oh, that, uh, that kind of foiled foiled the bad pl inadequate plumbing foiled my my plan and led to my capture and he's like you know that's really uh you know that's unfortunate for me But the part that gets me most is right here. What are you going to hand curve for? Uh, Wendy's triple. Yeah, that's doable. No pickles. Ice tea, no ice. Um, two, um, their value, um, spicy chicken wraps and a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Okay. Is that, is that outrageous? No, that's doable. I don't know how appropriate this is, but I'd like you to pass on to her mother and her father my condolences. Where he asks for uh, a Wendy's triple because the investigator, investigators, I don't know, they try to keep you happy and comfy. and bait you in with like treats and shit but I think also it might be a law that they do have to like feed you and stuff but I'm not sure but I love how he is so chill he does not give a care at all and he excitedly asks like and he knows his order down pat he's like I'll get a I'll get a Wendy's triple no pickles yeah he's got the omissions right to the custom order he's like the two chicken snack wraps off their menu and like the salad and then he has the The self-awareness of like in the situation is like is that too much to ask being that i'm admit, admitting to you know ab basically abducting or luring raping and dismembering i think she was like a 17 year old And this guy, it just, it, it just blows my mind. He's so calm. How you doing? Good, you? Meh, had better days. Do you see how upset I am? No. You're, you're pretty calm. Under uh, yeah. the circumstances that, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm a little concerned how calm you are. When he's like, oh, she's definitely deceased. And he's like, you know, when the plumber was there, I thought to myself, you know, sh am I going to get away with this? Should I try to, you know, leave? Should I flee? Should I get out of here now? Or <laughs> so 
Sorry, I was pulling this. Wow. I got a piece of paper really stuck on the sub. Wow, that really adhered to that. Wait. He was Dahmer level chill, but Dahmer was even more like, had a little more compassion for his victims. He was like, you know, I don't really like that I did these things, but uh, they're just in me and I kind of had to do them. And I, you know, I wish I had more control and I couldn't, didn't have to do this to people. But, but this guy, he says like, when the investigator was talking to him about, you know, how long did the process take to, to process the body and get rid of her and stuff? He's like, I couldn't tell you. It just wasn't that, you know, it wasn't really that important to me. Just pure insanity, but like, he's so... Chill and normally spoken, like he's clearly all there. Just a complete and total psychopath. Anyways, blew my mind. To observe the interrogation and his demeanor. Ultimately, he they either they found out he did he did he killed another girl similar age. And they were both the type of girls who were like having trouble at home and kinda were out on the streets floating doing drugs and young and troubled and 17 and which is like obviously he chose for a more easy prey I would imagine he probably was like you know come to my house I got drugs da -da -da. but they show the interior of his place And the dude is just nasty. Just shit everywhere. Absolutely hasn't cleaned in years. Dirty everything. Just clutter, hoarder type shit. Alcohol, bottles and cans and cigarettes and just shit everywhere. One nasty dude. You can tell by just by looking at him, he's just greasy. <laughs> Sweatpants wearing kind of guy like. Absolutely blew my mind. But yeah, Adam Strong, Oshawa killer. If you're into that stuff, well, I guess you don't really have to go check it out because I told you basically everything. But just nuts to me. I don't know. Felt like I had to talk about it for some reason. We got quite the wet butt here. I was going to possibly talk about 
like my very last video about the Grammys, I was going to do a similar breakdown on Rihanna and the Super Bowl, but I didn't know if, well, it's already been a bunch of days since then, and I figured anybody who's into that stuff, which it seemed like a bunch of you were, or are, from my Grammys video, if you, it seems like people like you guys would already have Googled it or YouTubed it or TikToked it and kind of know about it. So I didn't know if that would be a worthy video of doing, but could still do the Rihanna Super Bowl halftime show breakdown. Um, and integrate also the Jack Harlow Doritos commercial into it. All the symbolism. What things mean, how it all operates. So I still could do it if anybody would want to see that. Um, let me know, I guess. As per usual, amazing, incredible. It's my favorite sub. It always basically hits. Um, but yeah, <laughs> just, I could not believe this killer when I came across him. It was just like, this guy, there's just something so insane about how how calm he is. Like, he's just unaffected. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to jail. My life's over. It's all good. I'm just going to go chill in jail now. And he's probably having, like, a fine time in jail. And he has no remorse, nothing. Like, does not care at all about what he did and he's just like well, well now I get three squares and a cot and I'll play cards and smoke cigarettes and just like be in jail in Canadian jail too which is like <clears throat> so much easier than American jail like way easier than American jail all right till the next one you could live well stay true if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.